my friends welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're doing another installment in the luxury will i buy it series but here on my channel we add a little french twist so for collections we do want we say we oui. and for collections we don't want we say no merci but before we go any further let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee let's take a sip and let's get started so thank you for joining me today on this beautiful day it's like summer light it's not quite summer but it's almost there so i say we do our laps around the mall check out all the stores and then let's get an ice cream because it's really nice out so let me know which flavor of ice cream you would like so let's start looking at the new uh, releases so the first item here is a new release slash makeup news and this is on the account Weijie Beauty on Instagram all the blogs are listed down below so apparently allegedly Dior the five shadows the Saint Couleur Couture are getting a reformulation now I know like I'm confused you're confused we're all confused because these literally just got a reformulation like these are the new reformulation this happened in 2020 a new formula new textures and they're so buttery wonderful like i love the current five shadow palettes from dior honestly some of the best in the market just wonderful eyeshadows but apparently we're getting a new new reformulation i don't know what to tell you it just says coming soon i don't know when this is coming I haven't heard anything about North America yet. All the information is for Europe and Asia. I think in France it's already there. So this is possibly going to start trickling in. And what's interesting is uh, in different places, they've actually redone all of the existing quints. So denim, Mitza, uh, Grand Bal, nude dress, soft cashmere, like all the classics that I have they have been plum tool like the classics they've all had this reformulation treatment so why i don't know i have no idea i would love to know whenever they do these reformulations i really wish they would tell us why like break down exactly like which ingredient did you take out which ingredient did you add like and just why is it just a distribution thing is it cheaper to make in a certain area where this product is you know what i mean like just i don't know so I don't know. I hope that if when this comes to Montreal, I can pick the brain of the counter manager and see if I can give you any information. If you live in other parts of the world, which many of you do, and you have more information, feel free to share down below because I just, I find it so unnecessary. Like this just happened. It's not like they're blushes that haven't had a revamp in several years like we just did this so i for one hope that this new formulation is good because i love this new formula old new formula and so i really hope they're not messing with it because the previous eyeshadows from dior were really hit and miss it really depended some collections were great some were really not and so far all of these new old ones have been great so they better not mess with them because i love their eyeshadows so i for one will not repurchase everyone that i own that i think that's so stupid don't do that but going forward if they come out with new collections with the new formula i will give them a try but i'm not going to replace everything that i own absolutely not no merci that's that okay so moving on to a collection that I don't know how or why it just completely skipped or slipped my radar my mind i didn't see it i i don't it's been around or bubbling around for a while and this is over at beauty lux e this is ekka on instagram and this is the shantikai summer collection i don't know like this is this is a few weeks ago but i just i don't know sometimes listen i try my best but i'm only human this is the cosmos summer release here and let's look at the packaging because Shansakai knows how to do a pretty case. That's one thing. Like, look at those cases. So this is a compact gel bronzer and then it looks like a highlighter. Look at that. It does look like a cosmos. It looks like swirls of galaxies and I, I'm not a scientist, but 
this looks real pretty i love it i love the colors i love the packaging i love the cases i think these look gorgeous now i have both of the shatsakai real bronze bronzers i don't know if this is a new shade my spidey sense my spidey makeup sense is saying this is a pre-existing shade so i won't get it although i love the case i love blue and I love the swirl, but it's just so unnecessary for me to get this. But if you don't have the real gel bronzers, they are really nice. And this case looks exquisite. Now this here, this is the Real Glow Soft Pearlescent Highlighter. I don't think I have this because this, I thought it was the Hummingbird Blurring Powder, but this is a highlighter. I don't have that, I don't think. Uh, but I'm not... A highlighter girl you know that about me I'm not even wearing highlighter today so highlighter is often the makeup item that I could skip if I could get the highlighter in the blue case I would get it I, I think the pink case is very pretty it's just it's not wooing me quite as much as the blue case I think it looks pretty I like the pattern I like the design it looks like a like a Sun so it's giving you know summer collection bronze highlight all that jazz very pretty uh and then we have the lip cheeks they always come out with these for their seasonal releases I, these colors are not new there's freesia i think freesia we've seen before and then there's ceylon c-e-y-l-o-n how do you pronounce that ceylon i think so i believe this is a new color but i'm not certain but it looks like a really beautiful sheer black orchid that's the description so it looks like a really dark brown nudie color it looks very beautiful i have a lot of the lip cheeks i definitely have freesia in some of their other versions i don't know if i'd get the lip cheeks i like the lip cheeks i just have so many of them so i don't think i don't know this is a peut-être a maybe i think it's very pretty like if you don't have the bronzer i would recommend getting it because the case looks exquisite and if you're a highlighter girl probably for you. The lip cheeks are very, very buttery, so you might want to go in with a lip liner at first to make it long lasting. I think it's a beautiful collection, I just don't know if I really need it, so it's a peut-être, a maybe. Moving on to Amit Beauty Talk here, we have the new uh, Christian Louboutin Abracadabra Eyeshadow Duos. Now I love an eyeshadow duo, I, ha I have lots of palettes and five shadows, etc, but two little um, shadows a little bit of light, a little bit of dark. So simple, so elegant, so easy to use. So the duo eyeshadow palettes are adorned with the Louboutin Signature Red Spike, uh, ultra sensorial cream texture that glides evenly and blends easily and layers effortlessly, a range of eight buildable and highly pigmented harmonies in smooth matte or dazzling satin finishes to create a variety of looks from natural to sophisticated. Each duo features complementary shades, a dark shade to create the perfect unmissable shading and a light shade to illuminate. So yeah, two colors. That's really, if you want something really easy, like Monday to Friday, nine to five, this is something you could look into, especially some of the more neutral colors. They have some darker, more smoky ones too. They have a khaki, they have a little bit more of a pinky plummy shades, but I'm seeing a lot of neutrals as well. I think some of them are just matte. It's hard to tell exactly from promo photos, but it appears as though there are duos that are both matte. And yeah, I'm not certain exactly what the texture would be like, like how satiny, how shimmery, etc. But listen, some of these just look really simple, really elegant. Sometimes, on se casse pas la tête. We're not going to give ourselves a headache in the morning trying to figure out how to use five colors. Just use two, the light one in here, the dark one, just a little bit here, and put on some mascara and you're at the door. So this is a peut-être, it's a maybe. I'm not seeing anything that I'm like, wow, I need immediately, but I like the theory. I like the idea, you know, luxury beauty needs to be simplified sometimes. We don't need to be super extravagant. So I like the idea. I'm not... I haven't tried it yet, so I can't judge the execution, but I like the idea. So it's points for um, simplified eyeshadow. So there's actually a Louboutin makeup stand at Holt Renfrew, so I can go ahead and 
do some little swatches. Okay, moving on to something that I categorically, personally do not need, but I want to show you because it's really pretty. This is from Dior and this is part of their summer release. This is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze Powder. So these powders exist. I have one. I have number five, Warm Bronze. I don't need these. I have them already. But if you don't have them, you might consider you might want to consider getting them because this is part of their limited edition packaging. First of all, the stripe inside is pretty Christian Dior. It has like the stripe, so that extra packaging and embossing and the outside case. That tan with navy screams summer. That is literally like white and navy, tan and navy. That is basically all the, the color scheme for their summer release. I have the Eden Rock palette that I'm wearing today. Eden Rock is a fancy resort. They have them in France, in Miami, other locations as well. And you can see the white tan and navy represented here with the Eden Rock palette. And you can see it in the packaging for the bronzer. So it's just very thematic. I appreciate the theme. I appreciate their commitment to the theme. It's very extra. So for your consideration, if you don't have one of these bronzers, I personally would get it with the extra special packaging. Why not? Okay, moving on to Chanel. We have a couple new items here. First up is in their fragrance category. There is a new discovery set from Chanel. This is the exclu les, les Exclusifs de Chanel. So the exclusive line, the niche fragrance line. You can actually buy a discovery set of every perfume. Yeah, so if you're a perfume head, if perfume is what makes your heart go pitter patter, uh, you might want to look into this, although it looks like it's sold out already. Maybe you want to put yourself on a waiting list because this looks great. I mean, I like some of the more niche fragrances from Chanel. I'm not going to lie. They're not all for me, but there are perfume heads out there who want the nichest of the niche. So this might be for you. The case looks amazing. It looks beautiful. It's all lined up. They're all lined up perfectly. It looks great. So this might be for you. Moving on, we have a couple of skincare items here and I've actually had the pleasure of trying them both. So this is the Chanel Hydra Beauty uh, Micro Zue Creme. So before there was the Hydra Beauty uh, Micro Gel in a Tube that has been discontinued. This is replacing it. So this is the Chanel's first eye cream featuring the Microfluidic Technology to strengthen the de delicate eye area. The Microfluidic Technology is a patented process that encapsulates the power of white camellia extract within thousands of micro droplets. The fast absorbing formula helps strengthen the delicate eye area, reduce the appearance of puffiness, dark circles, fine lines. So this is incredibly hydrating. The white camellia extract deeply hydrates the skin and fortifies the moisture barrier around the eye. Wonderful. The algae extract and tetrapeptide target the appearance of puffiness and dark circles, and the pearlescent microspheres, uh, micro pigments, sorry, illuminate the, illuminate the look of the eye area. So when you try this out, you have these little micro droplets of skincare sort of suspended within the aqueous gel and then you break it down and you apply it and you can sort of feel everything dissolve at the same time it feels very refreshing very hydrating the hydra beauty line is not that many bells and whistles it's not for spots it's not for hyperpigmentation this is really just your pure hydration line it does have other ingredients but this is not anti-aging. It's really just for hydration and maintenance of the eye area. It's been, it was really lovely trying it out. It felt really nice. And one nice thing about having it in the jar is you do get to access all of it. You get to <laughs> scoop it all out. When you have a pump, you're like, I swear there's like a little drop left in there. Moving on to the Lift Pro. So this is a continuation of the Lift line from Chanel. Lift line is more for fine lines, wrinkles, contours, texture, 
and firmness. This is what the Lift and Lift Pro lines target. And this is a new mask from the Lift Pro line. This is the uni uh, Uniformity Mask. It corrects, redefines, and evens the complexion. And I had the pleasure of testing it out last night. It was wonderful, so I did a nice generous layer on my face and neck and décolleté, and then I went to sleep with it because there are three ways to wear it. You can wear it as a flash, so you apply it, leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off and then do your makeup, do your day. Uh, you can go to sleep with it and you can also wear it during the day with makeup on top. And what's interesting is this has a nice gel texture. I thought it was going to be like a heavy cream. It's actually a nice light gel texture. It's a little bit of a thicker gel and it does offer a bit of a tacky, sticky feeling. So you do feel this sort of tightness and firmness effect when you apply it. So the Uniformity Mask helps address advanced signs of aging and rebalance the color contrast caused by dark spots. The enveloping jelly-like texture uh, evens and illuminates the look of the skin. The appearance of imperfections and dark spots are reduced. The complexion looks 25% more radiant. Do you agree? Do I look 25% more radiant? Like I said, I'm not wearing any highlighter. Uh, so let me see. Oh, one thing I need to note, this uh, skincare has absolutely zero scent. No fragrance, no scent. I think Chanel is finally getting the hint that we don't want alcohol or perfumes in our skincare. So that's really quite nice. You really don't, there's no scent, no perfume whatsoever. So yes, that is also new from Chanel. I think I forgot to say we oui are non merci for the Chanel contingency part of our video. How rude of me. So for the exclusive set, for me it's a non merci. I'm not a perfume niche. I'm not a niche perfume head. The Hydra Beauty, it's a baguette. It's a maybe. I, I currently have like eye creams that I'm trying to work through. So I would get it if I didn't, if I needed it. I don't need it, but I would get it. And then the mask I would get. I think it's nice. I think it's really beautiful. I love the texture. It's really nice. It's like a thick gel. It's very hydrating, but without feeling greasy or heavy and apparently other people agree because it's currently sold out so maybe put yourself on the waiting list so moving on we have new makeup here from sisley so this is the uh, sisley blur expert this is the insta sisley filter that creates creates a luminous perfect skin with a single stroke that lasts all day so this is a face powder that's going to blur your entire face like an Instagram filter. Love that. So it says to use a large brush to apply all over the face. For more coverage, you can focus on areas that need blurring. Like I feel like the center here or sometimes around here is where I get more pores. So you can use it on bare skin on its own. You can, you can apply a primer and then apply this powder over top. So you don't have to use a foundation underneath if you don't want to, but you can put it on top of a foundation. It says it's going to be more coverage if you apply it over top of a foundation. No, duh. And you can use it for touch-ups during the day to mattify, smooth, and beautify the skin. I do love a blurring powder every now and then. I'm not always the powder girl, but I have grown fond of some blurring compacts and even blurring loose powder, so that's quite nice. However, unfortunately, this new Blur Expert only has two colors. There's zero light, and one beige, so that's pretty abysmal. Although I have to say, I have a couple of their foundations and their foundation shade range is like not great to say it politely. Their shade range for foundations often skips like huge chunks. So let's say you're like a one beige and two beige, like one beige is super light and cool and then two beige is super dark and warm and it's like, they're skipping a lot of nuances between each shade so it is extremely disappointing because honestly from the photo i think i would be wearing a one beige and i think a world where i'm wearing the darkest color is flawed to say it very mildly and politely so that's a huge disappointment maybe we need to add a new category of like it's not we oui, it's not non merci it's just like That's that, that's this category here, unfortunately. But for those of you who could wear this, I hope it's great. I mean, it's Sisley, so I have a lot of Sisley makeup. I have a lot of their single eyeshadows. 
yeah they're expensive they're beautiful their eyeliners are also wonderful it's like waterproof but glides on like a cool liner i would i would really recommend their eyeliners okay let's move on to something less disappointing hopefully this is the armani luminous silk glow liquid bronzer and it has an spf of 15. so i have never used a liquid bronzer i've only ever used powder or like a cream gel like the chanel bronzers I've never used a liquid bronzer. Part of me likes it because it must be so natural and so fluid and just like melt into the skin, but also like that must be hard to use. Do you use a couple of drops and just put it on your whole face or do you put some on the back of your hand and then work it in with a brush? I guess both options work. You could also add a little drop to your foundation, but this one here has three colors. There's 90 light to medium, okay. 100 medium to tan and then 110 tan to deep this is much more acceptable this is much better shade range wise i'm not sure where i would i probably would be a light to medium i will go in store and see it i'm intrigued this is permanent by the way it's not a flash in the pan so breathe in breathe out you don't have to rush to get it if you want to you can but i'm just saying going to be around please enjoy your makeup leisurely so i think this is a wee for me i'm really curious i really hope they have like travel sizes of this because this is not is an item i would definitely want to try a travel size of because it just seems like a lot of commitment because a bronzer is a lot of product to actually use up when you think of it so i hope they have a travel size one i would try a travel size for sure yeah maybe i can get my makeup done and ask them to like use it. For me, I think I would put it on the back of my hand, use my bronzing brush, and then apply it like that. I think that's what I would do. Sorry, I thought I had a little lip gloss line. You know when like your hair goes like this and pulls? I hate that so much. So this is Oui Peut-être for Armani. Yeah, I'm very curious. And then last but not least, we have a new skincare item here from Drunk Elephant. So I actually quite like Drunk Elephant. I love their I love their face cleanser. It's called like Best Nine Jelly Cleanser. I know it's basic, but it works so well. It cleans everything and doesn't leave me feeling dry. And also their hyaluronic acid serum. They didn't reinvent the wheel, but it just gives you a nice glass of water for your skin. So they have something new here coming out. This is the A Shaba Complex Retinol eye serum with caffeine and copper peptides so this is for loss of firmness anti-aging it's without parabens it's a retinol as well so it's a smoothing moisturizing eye serum with 0.1 percent vegan retinol three percent caffeine and copper peptides that target fine lines wrinkles and reduces the look of puffiness apparently copper is supposed to help promote the production of collagen so hopefully that works nicely. What I find confusing is the mixture of retinol and caffeine because uh, usually retinol, you use it only in the evening. And anytime you use a retinol, you have to use a sunscreen in the AM. So the fact that it's a retinol with caffeine, it says here that you can use this morning and night. I'm just a little bit apprehensive of using this in the morning because it is a retinol, but People are, I mean, they're saying to use it morning and night. I'm just, I don't know, a little bit apprehensive of that. But I'm just really curious with this combination because I have seen caffeine before in eye, eye creams, eye serums, and I, I don't think I've tried a retinol from them yet. Anyway, I like it. I think it's a wee for me. I would give it a try. So yeah, that is today's video. We've done our laps. We can go get our ice cream now. Yay. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I cannot wait to hear from you. If you are new to my channel, we do this type of video once a week, once every two weeks, we talk about new releases, we go for walks and chit chat about what's coming up on the horizon. So if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. And on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and then I'll see you next time. Bye.